Hello, welcome back to Aim Junction. Today we're back here in the loft as you can see and today we're going to be having a little look at the new Acura Scale STS um, PCA bulk cement wagons uh, which are in the castle cement livery. Um, obviously Acura Scale is quite a new company um, and they seem to have a lot planned with the Deltic um, the new buffer lights, which I definitely um, will be ordering some of them. So there's got a lot to come, so I plan to do um, kind of a couple of videos of some of the products I buy, just to kind of um, show them off to their best glory, um, and kind of let everyone know uh, how good they are. Obviously I have had a quick sneak peek of these, so I do know what they like already, um, and all I've got to say is they're really superb models. So uh, we're not going to hang around. Remember to leave your like rating down below, comment any questions, as always, they're always welcome, and we'll get straight into this. Right, so looking at the front of the box, you've got this nice line drawing of what it is, and then obviously uh, the written information of what it is on the box. Nice Acura Scale logo. Um, I think their packaging's really neat and very modern and sleek. Um, not too overwhelming, just got all the necessary details, so I do like that. Right, okay, so you've got a very nice box which does come with a sleeve to protect it from scratching. So you can see how much this has took the brunt off. So the box stays nice and good. Right, so uh, we're going to open this now. So um, this is what you first see when you open the box. Um, you get a nice little bit of history about the wagons. Um, so if you're interested in reading that, you can pause the video now. Um, so yeah, this is really quite in-depth and a really nice thing for them to add. Um, it's not like the normal bog standard ones you get on the back of the box, which is just right in. They have actually really took some effort here, as you can see, um, to really go into this. And uh, you've got some nice pictures set in the 90s um, of them in action, which they look superb. Plus also that'd be a good picture if you wanted to know what they look like mainly when running, um, if you wanted to weather, which... I might at some point, I'm undecided. Um, they seem to be a bit too nice to weather, but I don't know. So yeah, that's really, really nice thing to see. So we'll set that to one side and go and delve straight into the wagons. So they're in their own kind of little compartments, their own little bubbles, um, their ice block bubbles. Um, really nice packaging, really secure. Um, that's not moving anywhere if you shake that around. Um, that's really good. Right, so, and also you get a nice bag of details. Um, so if you go in there, you've got absolutely loads of brake pipes, rigging, and um, all other little airlines that you can put on if you wish. So, yep, that's quite cool. Right, so we're going to open our wagons up now. Um, so we'll take them out and set that aside. Right. So, they're kind of like attached in um, with them little fasteners, you could call, in the plastic. Uh, right, so I'm going to open this now and we'll have a look at one of the wagons for you. Right, so if we open one of these up, they've got this kind of anti-scratch sleeving, as you see on models nowadays. So if we peel one of that back and get one of them out, as you can see... Um, you're just overwhelmed by detail. Um, there's loads of colour on there, especially that underframe detail. That's absolutely superb. And I can't wait to see their, what their deltics are going to look like. I have seen a few of their wagons, and they all seem to be the same, where people sing very highly of them and say very highly of that, how much the detail is and how much the difference that makes. Um, wagons normally can be overlooked. Um, these are quite a standard wagon, um, but you can see they've literally gone to town with all the detail in. Like, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, the tampo printing for all of this looks right, super. Here's a close up shot for you to see all that detail. Right, so as you can see, all the tampo printing is really, really good. Very crisp and clear, and very well executed. Also, we've got a handbrake wheel um, just to the left, um, which will be good because obviously these could be run as unbraked wagons or when they're not hooked up to a loco. Obviously, you need something to stop them rolling away. 
it's mainly the same the other side um it's just absolutely a stunning model as you can see the amount of detail these have got are literally unreal um literally in real life you can see more um so if we go underneath um the detail continues as you can see you've got the colors of the pipes um and obviously where the cement would come out underneath where they'd offload the wagons um so that's really nice to see as they've got even like an electrical control box all different stuff um onto the wheels then it's obviously all four metal black wheels um and obviously they've got the nice springs and axle boxes um which are bought out in yellow which is a very nice touch um full nem pocket so you can put kd couplings on there if you wish or you can stay with the standard nem couplings which are the ones that are fitted to it so going to the end um you've got obviously another nem coupling you've got a realistic coupling um if you did want to put the KDs, you obviously could make it look a little bit more realistic with the proper one above. Uh, buffers, they're obviously um, sprung. Um, that doesn't really make an awful difference to me, but it's a nice touch in any case. Got lamp irons on the back there um, and a couple of lifting points. Um, so in total, it's a really nice wagon. The detail continues on the top. You've got this really nice mesh a walkway and obviously the load points where you would put the cement in the ladders are actually really stunning um, if we go straight into them you've got absolutely stunning detail it's not just a standard wagon like you'd see on one of the old Hornby wagons you can just see the quality that is and it's actually metal so obviously we won't look at all the wagons as they are the same they just have different running numbers um, so in total these are really really nice what models they've got some good weight the detail is absolutely stunning and I think now it's probably time to put it on the layer and see how they look and then uh, I think that will be everything that's our look at complete right so I'm going to go and put these on the layer and I'll get back to you in a second right so I've put them on the track and got my little OA out which has been recently weathered um, but there'll be more on that in a further video so on to the wagons um, they look absolutely stunning on the track as you can see um, They have a real nice look to them from a distance. They really stand out and will look really nice running round um, So yeah, I'm really really happy with them. They run really well um, So there's not much I can fault Right, so I've put them on the track and got my little OA out which has been recently weathered um, But there'll be more on that in a further video. So on to the wagons um, they look absolutely stunning on the track as you can see um, They have a real nice look to them from a distance. They really stand out and will look really nice running round um, So yeah, I'm really really happy with them. They run really well um, So there's not much I can fault Right, okay, so I think that will be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this little look at and hopefully um, if you liked it, you'll be buying some yourself I definitely will be buying some more uh, 100% at one of the next shows um, they actually retail for um, about £60 for three of them which I think is a really good price considering the quality of the models so anyway right, so thank you for watching as always I will see you in my next video